Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, beloved viewers. We thank God for today being Monday, 15th of March, 2021. We are going to do a devotion this morning using the daily fountain of the Church of Nigeria devotional guide. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will speak to us this morning in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Our Lord and our God, we thank you, O Lord God, because it is by your grace, O Lord God, that you have led us through, even over the weekend. And Father, O Lord God Almighty, we are here, O Lord God, even today, hail and healthy because by your grace, and because of the battles you have won for us over the night. Father, we give you glory. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord God, because your word says that the entrance of your word give it light and give it understanding to the simple. Make us simple enough this morning, O oh Lord, to receive the light of your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. The topic before us this morning is the power of prayer. And a Bible reading is taken from the book of Esther, chapter 5, verse 1 to 8. Esther 5, 1 to 8. Now it happened on the third day that Esther put on her royal robes and stood in the inner court of the king's palace across from the king's house. While the king sat on his royal throne in the royal house, facing the entrance of the house, so it was when the king saw Queen Esther standing in the court that she found favor in his sight. And the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. Then Esther went near and touched the top of the scepter. And the king said to her, What do you wish, Queen Esther? What is your request? It shall be given to you up to half the kingdom. So Esther answered, If it pleases the king, let the king and hammer come today to the banquet that I have prepared for him. Then the king said, Bring Ammon quickly, that he may do as Esther has said. So the king and Haman went to the banquet that Esther had prepared. At the banquet of wine, the king said to Esther, What is your petition? It shall be granted you. What is your request? Hope to the half the kingdom, it shall be done. Then Esther answered and said, My petition and request is this. If I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my petition and fulfill my request, then let the king and Haman come to the banquet because which I have prepared for them. And tomorrow I will do as the king has said. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Beloved of God, there is power in prayer. And I want to tell us that prayer works wonders. If we use prayer very well, prayer is a weapon. The Bible says, that the weapon of our fear 
They are not carnals, but they are strong through God to the pulling down of strong oaths, casting down imaginations. That is prayer. There is power in prayer. And what is prayer? Prayer is spiritual warfare. Prayer decides what happens at the battlefront. Remember at this particular place that we read, Esther and the Jews, they were in captivity. And somebody just stood up one day because he doesn't like somebody. He wanted to wipe all of them off. They, that means they are in war. So, prayer decide what happens at the battlefront. What is prayer? Prayer is man exercising his legal authority on earth to invoke heaven's influence. When you pray, you are telling heaven, be attentive, do something. What is prayer? Prayer is an antidote against worry and anxiety. If you can pray, you don't need to worry. If you can pray, you don't need to allow anxiety to grip you. That is what prayer can do. What is prayer? Prayer is man giving God the right and permission to interfere in their affairs. When you pray, you are telling God, God, I have no power of my own. I have no strength of my own. Come and deliver me from this situation. Come and deliver me from this problem. And God will interfere. God will come and do the needful. That is prayer. What is prayer? Prayer changes hopeless situation to hopeful and glorious situation. Is there any situation in your life that people have written off? If only you can pray and stand up and tarry in the place of prayer, that hopeless situation, that hopeless circumstances will become an hopeful and glorious situation in the name of Jesus Christ. We receive crucial and strategic revelations visions, and spiritual information from the place of prayer. Who gave Esther wisdom? Because she and her people have tarried in the place of prayer. God granted her wisdom. Not just to ask for what, for what is bothering her at that particular time, but to ask the king to come and wine and dine at the banquet. It can only happen, divine wisdom, can only happen in the place of prayer. Amen. Prayer can never be too much. It can only be insufficient. Maybe you have been praying and be praying and be praying, and you are, you are getting being fed up. Don't, don't, don't quit in the place of prayer. Prayer can never, never be too much. Continue to pray. Push. Pray until something happens. That is where you will experience the power of prayer. And I pray that as you tarry in the place of prayer, you are pushing. You are praying until something happens, something glorious, not just something. Something glorious, something miraculous, something extraordinary. The Lord God Almighty will make it happen in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. So, beloved of God, in our text two days ago, you can see how Esther declared fasting and prayer to the extent that he said, after this fasting and prayer, I will go and meet the king. Whatever happens, so be it. If I perish, I perish. But because he has, he has stayed in the secret place of the Most High, because he has tarried in the secret place of the Most High, the Lord made something to happen. She received favor. That is the power of prayer. That is what prayer can do. And I pray for somebody, you are listening to me today, 
the Lord God Almighty will grant you favor to do that thing that you desire to do, but things no, are not working the way you think it should work. The Lord God Almighty will make favor to speak in your, in your place in the name of Jesus Christ. When she was done praying, that is Esther, she went to the king at an odd time and she received favor. You will also receive favor today in the name of Jesus Christ. The book of James chapter 5 verse 16 says, The effectual prayer of a righteous man avails much. The effectual prayer. Let your prayer have, be, be led by the Spirit. Let your prayer have the illumination of God. Let your prayer carry weight in the presence of God. And you will see answer to your prayer. They, they, we normally say this, that a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. Yes. And I want to say it. A prayerful Christian is a powerful Christian. If you are prayerful, you will be a, a, a powerful person. Even demons will tremble whenever you come around. Anywhere you go, demons will tremble at your presence. Because you are not just there. You are carrying God. You are carrying heaven. Amen. I pray that God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. We normally say as well that prayer is the master key. Beloved, there is no door that prayer cannot open. There is no door. If you can tarry in the place of prayer, you will see doors opening unto you. Are you dear beloved brother and sister? There are so many doors, doors of greatness, doors of opportunity, doors of upliftment that have been locked against you. As you tarry in the place of prayer today and henceforth, those doors will be opened unto you and you will receive your upliftment. You will receive your promotion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved of God, Joseph prayed and received interpretation so Pharaoh's dream, true prayer, true prayer, Joseph received interpretation to Pharaoh's dream. What of Daniel? Daniel prayed and received revelation and interpretation king, to King Nebuchadnezzar's dream. He, he was not even the one that had the dream. And the king said, I will not tell you this dream. You will have to go and you no, know, tell me this dream and the interpretation. And he said, King, give me time. He went in with his counterpart. They prayed and heaven opened upon them. He received the, 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 the dream and the interpretation thereof. And that elevated him. Beloved, if you tarry in the place of prayer, there are so many things that are hidden, even about your life, about the steps that you will take, that heaven will re reveal unto you, if only you can tarry in the place of prayer. What of Anna? Anna prayed and became mother of children. She did, she did not just give birth to, 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 Sam, to Samuel. She prayed. She has been going to Shiloh so many times. She has been going to Shiloh year after year. But the year that she made up her mind that things will not be as usual, what happened? Heaven sanctioned what she was praying for. Heaven seed what she was praying for. She went back home rejoicing. And the following day, she was already carrying her child. Are you there? People call you barren. Are you there? You are dejected. If only you will pray and seek the face of God, you will see God working on your behalf. That barrenness, the Lord is going to take it away and you will become mother of children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What of that Canaanite woman? She prayed and continued to plead with Jesus, not minding be called a dog. Jesus, when she came to the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, it is not right for me to give what is me meant for, 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 for the children to the dog. He said, yes, even dog 
can take the crumbles. That is persisting. No wonder the Bible says in the book of Luke that men ought to pray always and not to lose heart. This woman did not lose heart. Despite the fact that she's not a Jew, but because she persisted in asking the Lord Jesus Christ, her daughter was made old. Her daughter got a deliverance. What of Anna the prophetess? In fact, when, whenever I read about the story of this woman, it challenges me. This is a woman who was a widow for 84 years. The Bible makes us to understand that she only enjoyed her husband for only six years. And she decided not to marry. She tarried in the, in the temple. She stayed in the tabernacle. The Bible recorded in, in the book of Luke that this woman served God with prayer and fasting every day. No wonder she was able to see the baby Jesus. She was able to see the salvation of the Lord. Beloved, what are you serving God with? If only you can tarry in the place of prayer, you will see the salvation of the Lord. God will help us in the name of Jesus. What of David? David will never embark on a war without asking God first. Remember, there was a time, even they have carried into captivity his people and his wives. And he asked God before going embarking on that journey, he said, God, should I pursue? Should I overtake? When God will answer him, God answer him beyond his imagination. God said, pursue, overtake, and recover her. Because David did not ask that God will I recover her. He said, God, should I pursue? Should I overtake? God says, yes, pursue, overtake, and recover all. You can only pursue, overtake, and recover all when you tarry in the place of prayer like David. Don't ever embark on, on anything without asking the approval of God. And as you ask for the approval of God today, heaven we open upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What of Elijah? The Bible makes us understand that Elijah is just a mere man like ourselves. He prayed that there will not be rain. And for three and a half years, there was no rain. Until he prayed again that rain began to fail. That is a mere man like us. But because he tarried in the place of prayer, beloved of God, Prayer work wonders. There is power in prayer. If only we can persist in the place of prayer, we will receive our targeted miracle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What of this Queen Esther that we are talking about? We have talked much about her. She received favor. She received direction. She received justice for her people because she has studied in the place of prayer. What of Jabez? Jabez prayed. The Bible makes us to understand that our mother was the one that named that Jabez. And what is the meaning of Jabez? Son of sorrow. And you can imagine when he prayed, the man of sorrow became an honorable man. A man who is more honorable than his brothers, his brethren. That is what is recorded in the Bible. Because he prayed. He removed the garment of that sorrow. He removed everything associated with sorrow in his life, in the place of prayer, and he became an honorable man. What of King Ezekiah? King Ezekiah, this is a king that when he was threatened by king, uh, king of Assyria, king, king Zenacherib, he sent to Elijah, he said, ask your God oh, to come and deliver us. So. And when he went to ask that Elijah should pray for them. All that could happen in the camp of Sennacherib is that Sennacherib heard the rumor of war that they want to capture his own people. And he had to go. But before going, he wrote a letter and sent to Ezekiah and said, I am coming back home. Let me first of all go back and settle my home. And by the time the letter got to Ezekiah, Ezekiah has come to his senses. He did not send to Elijah again. 
he took the letter, went to the house of God and spread the letter before God and began to pray unto the Lord. What happened? The Lord sent an angel. Just an angel. He finished all of them. 185,000 were killed in the camp of Kenaserub. And that gave him confidence. When even Elijah came to him, when he was sick, Elijah came to him, he said, God said, pack your load, put your house in order because you are going to die. The Bible says that he turned to God again because he knew what God has done for him before. He turned to God again. And before Elijah could leave that place, that palace compound, the word of the Lord came to Elijah again. Go and tell Ezekiah that I have changed my mind. I have added 15 years to his year. And he was no longer sick. The Lord hid him and the Lord added 15 years to his year. If only you can tarry in the place of prayer, things will be changed for your good. Things will change in your honor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What of our perfect example, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible makes us understand that before the Lord Jesus Christ started this ministry, he prayed. When he continued his ministry, he continued to pray. And he prayed, finishing his ministry. No wonder he can triumph over the devil. No wonder he finished well, he finished strong. And he's giving us victory today. The victory that you and I were enjoying today is the victory that the Lord Jesus Christ has given to us. But he continued to pray. Jesus Christ is our perfect example. Beloved of God, continue to pray. And we are so fortunate now. We are in the period of Lent when we fast and pray. The Lent, the period of Lent, Remain some days. You can still key into it. You can still put yourself into the, in, in, into, the, into the secret place of the Most High. Even at this period of Lent. And you will see the power of prayer working in your life. As you stay and tarry even with the Lord God Almighty. And I pray that God will answer our prayers in Jesus name. Let me round off with the word of this hymn. Our chief Church of Nigeria, Himna, Himna, 803. He said, pray, always pray. The Holy Spirit, please, within you, all your daily, highly need. Pray, always pray. Pray, always pray. Beneath sin's heaviest load, prayer sees the blood from Jesus' side that flowed. Pray, always pray. True, weary, though weary, faint, and lone, Prayer needs less near the Father's shattering throne. And so on and so on. He said you, we should always pray. Pray all the time. Pray all the time. Prayer, like I said the other time, can never, never be too much. It can only be insufficient. Key into being in the secret place of the Most High in these remaining days of Lent. And you will see miracles of God happening in your life because you pray. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We know that you have spoken to us this morning. We know, O oh Lord God, that you have opened our eyes of understanding to tarry in the place of prayer, to be in your secret place, Help us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that even, O oh Lord God, in the place of prayer, we will not be weary. We will not be tired. We will not faint in the name of Jesus. You will continue to strengthen us from within in the name of Jesus. And as we pray and seek your face, heaven will be opened upon us and we will receive our miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Father, we appreciate and adore your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for we pray and receive in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, beloved. Have a fruitful week in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain.
if you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.